Hello everyone, my name is Roy Rosaizo and today I'm gonna show you how to root your HTC One S. The same procedure is applied to the HTC One X except for different files being downloaded for that specific device. So let's start rooting! So the first thing you should do is go and download the Android SDK. The Android SDK tools only is enough for this to work. So you either download this or that, or if you have a Mac, you can download this one or that one. I'll make sure you have a link down below, down in the description, linking to this page. A lot of videos and guides are already posted on the internet, so I'm not gonna go through how to set up ADB and Fastboot to work. Also, you should make sure that Fastboot in the power options is unchecked. So we go to settings, we go to power and uncheck fast boot and also we should go to settings and developer options and enable USB debugging I have that already enabled also you should make sure you have plugged in your device to your PC also you should have the HTC drivers installed on Windows for the ADB and the fast boot programs to work for your device now while your device is up and running open up a command prompt and type ADB reboot bootloader so we're gonna write adb reboot boot loader and hit enter and as you can see here adb is starting up and it has issued the command and it shut down so now it's booting up to the bootloader and this is the bootloader we have these androids on skateboards there so you know you're in fast boot or bootloader mode you have Fastboot USB there, so you know your fastboot, you're in fastboot mode and connected to the USB. I have this tampered because I worked on it before and I have this relocked so I could show you how to unlock it. So, anyway, we are in fastboot mode, we don't have to touch anything there, so we're gonna throw the phone and go to HTC Dev. So, we're gonna have to go to htcdev.com. HTC dev.com from there you have to log in here so log in of course if you don't have an account you should reg register yay we're gonna hit the unlock bootloader button there and get started you have to select your device there so it's in HTC one s they're all the same procedure so I'm gonna hit all other supported models and begin unlock bootloader do you do you still wish to continue yes yeah I acknowledge yeah I acknowledge proceed I'm already in bootloader mode so this is guiding me how to get to fast boot or bootloader mode and downloading the necessary uh, fast boot files or whatever I already have that all in the SDK so we have to write this command fast boot OEM get identifier token so I'm gonna copy that go to the command prompt and paste it hit enter and there's my identifier token so I'm gonna copy all that from the identifier token start to identifier token end I'm gonna hit enter and then paste that here and submit so when I hit the submit button HTC is gonna mail me an, a file so I'm gonna hit submit and open up Gmail there token submitted successfully I'm done here I'm gonna go to Gmail and HTC unlock bootloader there it is so there's the unlock underscore code dot bin I'm gonna download that and there it is it's just the bin file so I'm gonna enter the link there to continue the unlocking process and I'm done with Gmail I'm done with the download step 8 step 9 I'm gonna issue this command to unlock the bootloader. So fastboot flash unlock token unlock underscore code dot bin. Gonna exit this command prompt and go to the command prompt that's inside this folder. Open the command window here. All right. So I'm gonna paste that and enter. So as you can see, as as I hit enter, this screen showed up. Unlock bootloader no yes of course it's a yes so I'm gonna hit volume up to select yes and power to apply now it turned off so it's gonna reboot to a formatted version of the stock ROM and we have the bootloader unlocked you should go through this setup so you could get to the settings and enable USB debugging and disable fast boost I'm gonna 
skip this setup all right so we go to settings again we go to power disable fast boot developer options enable developer options and enable usb debugging okay so next is flashing a recovery so what you're gonna do is flash a recovery using the bootloader or fast boot so to check if i'm connected i'll just hit adb devices and i am as you can see so adb reboot boot loader of course in order to root the phone or flash whatever we want we have to have a custom recovery so now it's booting up to the bootloader and there it is it's in fastboot usb as you can see it's unlocked it's tampered and it's in fastboot usb perfect so now we're gonna flash a recovery and so to flash the recovery we're gonna issue the command fastboot flash recovery and then the name of the recovery.image file so i have uh, clockwork mode recovery there for the vil and i'm gonna make sure you have that linked as well so i'm gonna hit fastboot flash recovery and then hit tab because it's the only file there so i'm gonna hit enter and it's sending writing and finished so we're gonna go here the controls are up down volume up and volume down to highlight and power to apply so we're gonna pick bootloader then go to recovery and there you go we're in clockwork mod recovery so in order to install root now we're gonna go to install zip and then choose zip from sd card and then pick the zip file that we've already downloaded which is the root binary or we're gonna install zip from sideload so we enable sideload mode on the phone there and the file isn't on the phone right now so i'm gonna use the pc to transfer the file and flash at the same time so we enabled side load mode and just gonna throw the phone again and go to root and we're gonna flash the super su there so i'm gonna hit shift right click open command window here and hit adb devices so we could check if we're connected we are in side load mode so adb side load and then the name of the file of the zip file so as soon as I hit enter there, it will transfer the file and start installing it automatically. So root is flashed, so I'm going to hit home or back and then hit, uh, I don't know if you can see this, and then hit reboot system now. So now it's rebooting and boop. All right, so now it's booted and we're greeted with this awesome new app called Super SU. So we're gonna enter that and it works. This is super SU. So to check if this is actually running, we're gonna set this aside and run ADB shell. Hit enter. All right, so this is the Android shell. We're actually in a command prompt or terminal in this phone now. So I'm gonna hit SU. That means super user or root guy. So I'm gonna hit enter. And there it is. This is a prompt to grant Super SU permission. So I'm going to hit grant. And as you can see, the dollar transformed into a hashtag. All right. So hashtag is Super SU. This thing is actually working. We just rooted an HTC One S. I have a small channel announcement to make. You'll be seeing some random videos coming up in the next few days talking about how to make Android's battery life a bit better. They're small videos and noob friendly. This is because I'm updating my website androidbatterylife.com to lollipop and implementing videos on it too. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my guide. Please like this video if you found it useful and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I was Rairo Zaizo and I'll see you soon.